breaking tech news. Global technology services out. There's an outage with Microsoft 365 and their apps and their services. You're looking at the impacts, part of the impacts at least, right there on your screen. Flights grounded, banks knocked offline, media outlets off the air. So we're glad that we are on the air, but you're going to notice some changes in our broadcast. It's going to be a little simplified today. Uh, by the way, we're watching the website Down Detector. It's also reporting outages and services like Visa, ADT Security, and Amazon, and at multiple airlines, including American and Delta and others. So we'll all get through this together. We're also just getting word from the White House. Officials say President Biden has been briefed on the issue, and his team, they're in touch with CrowdStrike and impacted entities. CrowdStrike, of course, is that cybersecurity firm that was performing that update that just went completely wrong. That's the reason for all of this. A spokesperson at the White House adds that the president's team is also engaged with agencies to get sector-by-sector sector updates throughout the day. They're providing assistance as needed. So if you remember, Biden is at his home in Delaware, where he's self-isolating after testing positive for COVID-19. So he's having to work the Zoom today as he talks to his experts and aides. So let's drill down more on that why. And we kind of talked about it there. That outage happened because of a problem at a company you probably haven't heard of until this morning. It's called CrowdStrike, a cybersecurity firm used by industries around the world to protect you against hackers. So we know a lot of you are wondering, is this a hack? Because that would involve data. But they are saying this is not a hack, but rather a software update that just went terribly wrong. So, so far at this point, that's what we know about the root of the problem. But the bottom line, crashes of machines running, that Windows operating system, Gianna, they're saying that perpetual blue screen is what people can expect. CrowdStrike's CEO, George Kurtz, posted this message on social media. He says, the issue's been identified, isolated, and a fix has been deployed. Speed the fix, George. You're going to hear a lot this morning about computers inaccessible, and among those, saying that the city of Oakland. So if you live there, some services may be interrupted. Thankfully, though, City bosses say 911 lines remain active and open to receive emergency calls from our community. It went on to say, we ask you in Oakland to continue to report emergencies, underscore emergencies, by dialing 911. To that point, the California Office of Emergency Services just posted about the global outage issue just a short time ago, saying they are closely monitoring the global software outage, and initial reports indicate minor state system outages. However, again, all 911 public safety communications and critical infrastructure functioning as expected. Uh, Governor Gavin Newsom just posted on X about the issue, saying California is coordinating with local emergency officials and other critical infrastructure partners to address the impacts of this outage. He says, at this time, there are no reports of impacts to life safety public services in California. But banks are also experiencing technical issues from the outage, according to Down Detector. This includes Bank of America, Chase, and Wells Fargo. So here is a live look at the Bay Area as well. Major airports. Dealing with this issue as well, where many flights are currently grounded due to the computer outage, it appears that all major airlines have been affected one way or another. So the so-called misery map from FlightAware, you can see right there, this kind of provides a sense of the extent of the current delays of what travelers are dealing with right now. So to explain it a little bit better, the red portions you see of those circles indicate that problems are persisting on a pretty large scale at various air travel hubs around the country. So a post on by American Airlines says, quote, a technical issue with the vendor impacted multiple carriers, including American. It says, quote, as of 5 a.m. Eastern time, we have been able to safely reestablish our operation. Delta Airlines also saying it has, quote, paused its global flight schedule this morning due to a vendor technology issue and also says we're working to resolve the issue as quickly as possible to resume operations. And let's hear from United Airlines, who says, quote, a third party outage is impacting computer systems. And as we work to fully restore these systems, some flights are resuming. Many customers traveling today may experience some delays. We uh, talked to Frontier Airlines. They are impacted as well. Had to at one point ground all of their flights. Also, Allegiant says that they're having difficulties, including with their booking, their check-in, and their trip managing functions online. So with all of this, you can imagine the feds are looking at this. In fact, the FAA also announced Friday morning that all Allegiant flights, because of this, they're just grounded. Spirit Airlines, too, they say their booking system is disrupted. Uh, Spirit has flights across the U.S., the Caribbean, and Latin America. So the effects are going to be wide-reaching. They're asking for customers just log on, check for updates. And the FAA is looking closely at sort of the technical part of this as well. In fact, several airlines are saying to the FAA, look, we need some help. We need some assistance with ground stops. 
until this issue is resolved. So we're going to watch the FAA and what they do in the coming hours. You know, techies at the White House are also talking about the impacts on you this morning. A spokesperson from the National Security Council says they're aware of the incident. They're looking into it with those issues and impacts. And travelers, listen up. This is going to be a day that demands all of our patience, right, G? Oh, isn't that the truth today, yeah. especially on a day like today?